Hey guys, it's Matt from Quiz Surf Guitar 101 coming at you with Q's Pick of the Week. Or in this case, the weekend, since it's Saturday. And this is actually take two because the first one I decided to leave this one option selected which made it sound like it was basically an underwater basket weaving lesson, which is just not cool. So, this week, weekend, we're doing uh, another pentatonic thing with uh, some chords which I think uh, you'll have fun working on. Really kind of musical and meant to sound connected and also give you a, a nice little speed exercise that's just not running a scale. So let me get closer and we'll check it out. Okay, so basically we are going to be looking at a motif uh, and an A minor pentatonic. So just to review the A minor pentatonic scale, we're on root six, fifth fret, so old faithful. Everyone knows the scale. I hope. Okay, and uh, here's the motif. We're starting on the D string, and we're going to slide from the 5th fret to the 7th, and then play the 5 on the G. So you have a slide 7, 5 on the G, a uh, full step bend on the 7 on the G. So slide, 5, bend, then we're going to pick the regular 7, and then end up on the 5 on the G. So you have slide, 5, full step on 7, regular 7, and the 5, with a little bit of, little bit of mustard. So here's the actual motif. Okay, and then now we're going to throw some chords in. And each of the chords, uh, you know, strum maybe twice, which will put it in a, a pretty neat rhythm without being too complicated. So we have A minor, so two strums on A minor. And then you go into the motif. To a C chord. Back to the motif. To a three finger G. And then here we're going to add one more note to the motif. It's going to start off the same. We're going to end up on this A, the 7th fret. And the reason for that is we're going to actually anchor that finger and drop into a partial A minor bar chord. And that's going to be four strums. So here's the first part. So you have A minor, motif, C, motif, G, and the extended motif. Next phrase is the same thing, A minor, C, to E minor, same uh, extension here on the motif at the end, this time we're going to walk into an F bar with a pinky bass root, so that chord, you know, you're running on the 7 on the D from the motif. You have the pinky on 8 on the A string, first finger on 5 on the G, and then second finger on 6 on the B string. So that is a little more complicated than the partial A, but hey, it looks good, right? So it counts. So here's the motif. Anchor the third finger and drop in your pinky first and second. All right, so here's the entire thing. So A minor, motif, C, Motif, then a G, motif, partial A minor, A minor, motif, C, motif, E minor, the extension, and a really fun F chord. Okay, and here it is without me talking behind it. So 
a lot of fun. It definitely is meant to sound musical. You don't have to play it fast. But just keep it connected. That's the, the main thing about this lesson. And really just kind of another lesson in motifs where you have a theme uh, going on. It's, it's very much the, a call and response. The chord uh, is calling and hopefully the motif is responding. If not, then start turning pedals on and dive bombs and giant pick slides of doom. You know, the typical thing that I would do. Okay, enjoy! Thank <laughs> you.